Hey guys, good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy July, happy, what? Happy third quarter. What's going on? I hope everybody is having a great evening. This is Maya Harris, founder of Womb Women Own Minority Businesses and your favorite accountability coach. So we are kicking off third quarter. I'm in my office. You know, I'm, y'all know I'm not in my office at all. <laughs> I love my office. Oh my goodness. Does anybody have an office at their work? If you work from home, but you have a place that you can go to, to kind of get away from the home office, that's, that's what this is for me. And so I love being able to come in here and just kind of kick back and you know, see, I got got my large screen TV. <laughs> it's just quiet. And I got my ancestors all around me. I absolutely love it. So I hope y'all are having um, a, a great start to July. We're about to get into the holiday weekend, 4th of July being on Sunday for those who celebrate 4th of July. Either way, it's, look, it's a good barbecue weekend, right? If nothing else, it's a great barbecue weekend. So I hope you're having... Um, we've had some great plans for the weekend to relax. Look, sometimes entrepreneurs, I need y'all to just stop for a minute and just enjoy your family, enjoy the day, you know, fire up the barbecue, <laughs> get out there, go over random houses and get hot dogs and burgers, whatever you got to do. All right. I hope you have a fabulous start um, to this season. This is really, you know, this is July 1st, so it's the beginning of the month, but it's also the beginning of third quarter. Hey, Candice, how you doing, sis? <laughs> it's the beginning of third quarter. So, you know, we do our Thursday check-in. So this one, we're it's, it's kind of cool that our Thursday check-in just happens to be the first day of the month and the first day of the quarter. Like, it all just kind of beautifully came together. So hopefully over the past couple of weeks, you've been following directions and you have prepared yourself for third quarter. If, if you're watching this right now in the comments and you have done your third quarter plan, put done, <laughs> like hashtag I'm ready um, in the comments because look, this, it, you, you got to make sure that you're giving yourself that roadmap, right? And it's, it's uh, I was meeting with my accountability group this week and we were talking about, you know, what we have coming up and man, just the excitement of knowing what you're planning. It's when you're, when you're an entrepreneur and you're working every single day and you're working in your business, sometimes you forget how exciting it is that you've chosen this road, right? Because you get caught up in the day-to-day -day stuff, just like a job. You get, you get caught up in that day-to-day -day stuff. And so, um, that's right. We got a, we got a, I'm ready right there. <laughs> yes. So we get caught up in that stuff. But as an entrepreneur, you literally, you're literally complete control over where your business is going to be going. You get to decide, not your boss, not some random person in some ivory tower. You're in complete control of that. And so you don't want it to just, you don't want your business to just grow haphazardly. Yeah. Like you, you just, it's growing because it just happens to be growing. You you're in control of that. And so hopefully you have been, um, you know, working on your goals for third quarter. If you haven't a couple of things, I'm not going to hold you because you know, this, everybody's starting to gear up for the holiday. <laughs> um, but a couple of things for third quarter, just keep it simple. Don't, don't try to you know complete 20 things this quarter. Pick three, pick two. If you can pick two, it's even better. But pick, pick three, all right? Pick three things that you want to work on in addition to the stuff, because that doesn't mean you stop doing the everyday things in your business. That still has to happen, right? But pick three things that you want to accomplish for yourself this coming quarter, right? I'm, I'm gonna share, I'm gonna give you mine. I'm gonna give you mine. I'm gonna be transparent tonight. I'm gonna give you my three things, right? My three things that I would like to let me change my language. Three things that I'm going to complete during third quarter. So my very first thing is that we have a challenge in September. We have a challenge coming up in September and um, it's going to be the third weekend. It's going to kick off the third week of September, right? So we have five day challenge. Super, super excited about our challenge. We haven't done a challenge in a long time 
in the group. So they're doing a challenge and it's my goal to have 500 registrations, 500 registrations, 500 people registered for our challenge for September. So how does that have to have to happen? So now I have to plan because that's people aren't 500 people aren't just going to show up. You know, somebody might who's not really sure about how this works. Someone might say, well, my you have you got more than 500 Facebook friends. You have you know, you got 2000 Facebook friends. You have now I have 2000 before I had 5000. But y'all 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 know about my Facebook craziness. <laughs> but so you have, my, you got enough friends. Just put it out there. That's that's not how that works. That's not how that works at all. Right. So I have to create a plan on how to get. 500 people, not just 500 people aware of what's going on, 500 people actually signed up. That's that is a task in and of itself. That's going to require a mark, a good marketing plan. That's going to be required your daily, daily task to make sure folks know about it. That my email marketing and my social media marketing and my my affiliates and our brand ambassadors, all of us are going to have a part in that. So there are there are steps I'm going to have to take in order to get to that 500. So that's that's one of my goals. Another goal is to complete an application for this grant that I'm working on for Womb. Um, and I'm not going to say any more about that, but <laughs> there's a very major grant that I'm going for. And there are steps. There's a federal grant. So there's a lot. There's a lot of steps that I have to complete. I can't just wait until. You know, it's not like filling out a job application. I can't wait until the day before the the grant is due and just hope I can turn it in, right? Like I have to, I have to make sure I complete all the pieces, right? So that's that's another goal. And then my final goal is to have seventy five percent of our womb members, those 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 tribe members, are are, are folks who are in the tribe. Um, working through their circles, working on their working on their quarterly plans, but seventy five percent of tribe members moving up to their next stage, right? Because m- my success is their success. I it, I said that backwards. Their success is my success. So you know this amazing organization that we have. It's it's a part of you know what I'm doing is 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 to make sure that they're getting the tools. So that they can move up in their business, so they can grow their business. So they're, if folks are coming into Womb, they're not growing their business. Well, Womb is not doing what it's supposed to be doing, right? So those are my three goals for Q3. So that doesn't mean I, I don't have other things I still have to work on in Womb. It doesn't mean I don't have any, you know, other things I have to work on with my coaching program. But those are my three major goals that I'm creating. Well, I've already created the steps to start implementing for third quarter so that by the time I get to September 30th, those three things are completed and I can work on the next things, right? So you want to make sure that you have the, you know, you have those things that you're working on for your business so that it can move forward. If you're working, if the only thing you're doing is working in your business every single day, your business is going to move forward like a snail because you're only focused on the right now. Right. If you're working in your business and on your business, your business is going to move a lot faster until you can get to the point where you have your business set up in a way that you have a team that works in your business and you can spend your time working on your business. Right. That's that's the goal. That's the goal for everybody. So you want to make sure that you have your goal set for the quarter. And then each week you just work on a piece of it. That's why we do the pie chart. That's why we have the easiest pie, um, you know, easiest pie pie check in. So make sure you download it. We have the uh, the link scrolling across the bottom there. Make sure you download it. So that will help you every week to take a to look at what your goals are. Okay, what for these things? What do I need to get done this week? And if you break it down week by week, if you you have twelve weeks, if you break it down week by week you'll be able to knock out your goals by the end of the quarter. And then next quarter, you create another set, right? And that's how you do it. You don't, you don't look at, you know, if I I have for the year, I have about 10 goals. So some quarters I have only two things to work on. Some quarters I have three, right? So I don't wait 
until December to go back and look, okay, did I do everything? And I also don't try to work on all 10 things at the same time. It would be like, I would just be crazy. And by the end of the year, I would, it just, you just, I wouldn't have had everything done that I wanted to get done. Right. So you've got to break it. You, like, give yourself a break. Give yourself that grace where you're breaking up your goals so that you're working on a little bit each quarter. You'll get so much more accomplished by the end of the year. Your head will just, your head will just explode. All right. Um, I'm going to put up, let's see, what's this say? I have a question in the courses I'm supposed to do, only the ones in my group, but not the sections of the beginners, right? So this, for that's, that's a womb member, and I don't know whose name that is. So put that, do me a favor, sis, put that in the tribe hub. Um, Cause remember this, I, this is going, this is going out right now to everybody. So this is in our sisterpreneur group. This is in our tribe hub. This is in on our Facebook page. It's this everywhere. So put that, just post that question in the hub and I got you. Okay. Uh, Kayla said, I needed this. Yes. You know what? Cause sometimes you did. And that's why I love doing this, this day, weekly check-in Kayla. Because sometimes you just need that reminder of what you need to focus on and, and just a little extra push. And that's also, the power of the circles, right? That's definitely the power of working in the circle with your circle sisters are also giving you that push. <clears throat> You've been overthinking everything. Yeah. And, and you have to have that. You remember we, uh, and, and Kayla, we, we talked today in, in the Mars group, you know, you have to, you know, don't, you, you don't try to do everything at the same time. You know, it's just get your plan together, get your plan together first. And in the training for those who for those of you who are um, in the tribe, you know, in our planning courses training, and it goes over, you know, step by step what you should be, you know, what how much you should be working on each quarter. It'll, it'll, it'll just make your life a lot easier and you're going to get more done by the end of the year. All right. Del Rio says, thanks so much. You're helping me to understand this method. I was scared to get started. Don't be scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. You know what the funny thing is, y'all? So most of you know that I was a teacher. I was a teacher for 20 years. Um, so I don't know how to not plan because that was, you know, teachers. That, that's all we could, you know, that was every day. We had to turn them in, turn in our weekly plans and stuff. So I don't know how to not plan. <clears throat> so I want folks to be as comfortable with planning as they are with everything else. Right. It's it, and it's not hard once you it's it's actually it's not hard at all. It's actually not hard at all. It's convincing yourself that it's, it has value. Right. Because, again, we get so caught up. And, and the other thing about planning is we live in a what we call the microwave society. Right. Where everything is right now. I got to have it right now. Got to have it right now. So our our culture doesn't really encourage looking forward. Our culture is, I need it right now. I want this right now. I need this done right now. And that's not how your business is going to work. You know? Yeah. And the world will tell you that that is how it does work. That's not how it works. Like you have to, you have to recognize. And, and, and it's funny, I have a mentor, ladies, and the one thing she, you no, know, she's taught me so many things, but one thing that she taught me that that has stuck with me since the beginning, since my first, you know, my first journey into entrepreneurship. You know, I was working on, um, you know, looking at my income for the month, and I'm, you know, every day trying to map out everything. And then we had a conversation, and she's like, "You need to get your head out of the day, and start focusing on your year. What's your, you know, what what do you want to do in the next six months, twelve months? Uh, what do you want to do in the next two to three years?" I was just like. I'm trying to pay my bills today. She's like, I get it. She's like, but if you're only focusing on today, you're limiting yourself to the money you can make today, right? I was like, Man, and so I'm always thinking forward. Like, I, like I, I can, I have a board that I'm looking at across. Here, I'm gonna turn my little camera around. Hold on, y'all. In my, my office, a beautiful office. All right. I look at this every day, right? So I got change the narrative. I have, you see, I have 2021 goals up there. I got 2022 stuff over there. Um, I have, you know, my mentors and other women that I look, look up to. Just my, my old, I keep my 2020, look, that's my 2020 vision board. I'm never taking that down because 2020 was such a, a year for all of us. 
And I didn't, I didn't do none of that on my vision board. Like 2020 was like, nah, you, this is not happening. <laughs> so that's my reminder of what I was like pre 2020, what I was thinking. Um, so, but, you know, you're always looking forward. So, you, you know, when you're planning, when I'm working on something right now, it's because it's a part of a much bigger piece that I've already started working on. And sometimes I'll talk to, you know, our leaders and I'll ask them questions. I'll say, by the way, this is for 2022. I'm about to ask you. And they're like, 2022? I'm like, yeah, I'm already, I'm already there. Like, I'm, I'm, some times I'm asking them questions. I'm already thinking, you know, about what, what we're going to be doing for 2022. But once you get used to planning, once you get used to, first of all, you're going to feel so much more organized. You're going to take so much more pressure off of yourself because you have, you've given yourself a structure in your business. All right. You're, you've given yourself an opportunity to be able to look at what you want to do. And then when you get there, you can work on it. And then you have something to measure. Then you have something to the, to evaluate. Did this work? Why didn't it work? What were the things that I did? But if you just kind of go into things without any planning, you don't necessarily remember all the pieces that went into it. So when something does go right, you don't really even have the formula of why it went right because you didn't write it down. Right? It wasn't a part of something that you were working on. And when something goes wrong, you, you can't pinpoint where things started to go wrong because you don't have it written down, right? So you gotta, you ladies, you gotta plan. You gotta, you really, I, I'm, I'm seriously just like this is just my, you know, my, my preaching moment. <laughs> you have to make sure that you're writing stuff down, um, and not random. You know, it's, it's a part of something bigger. So you should have a quarterly plan. You know, if, if you're the type of person who likes to do a monthly thing. Um, have a monthly plan, have your weekly, your weekly plan, your, your daily to-do list. I have a little bit of everything, I tell you. So this is, now this is day one. Whatever happened second quarter that you weren't prepared for, learn from it. This is your day one, quarter three. You're able to start completely over, fresh, fresh sheet, what is it, clean sheet, fresh sheet, whatever, <laughs> for quarter three. Three goals, y'all. Three goals, and I want you to write out the steps. What are the steps that you that you have to take in order to get those three goals? And that's what we're going to be talking about every single week. So on Sundays, Nadasha comes on Sundays, and she's going to remind you. All right, this is your power hour. Take an hour for yourself and look at what you have to do this week. That's what she, I think she comes on around six or seven o'clock on Sundays. Um, this is it. You know, make sure on Sunday or even Saturday night. Um, make sure that you are, you can use your pie chart. That's why I created the pie chart for you. Use your pie chart to map out what you want to do for the week and just have that in front of you for the week. Have you either print it out or have it on your computer. I like printing it out because I know if I, if I print it out and put it on my desk, I can't ignore it, right? So I have my weekly pie chart, but I even, I also have a to-do list because my part, my pie chart is just for my goals. My to-do list is for everything I need to do. So, you know, my, my daily tasks, so I still have that too. Um, but take you know, take some time, even even on the holiday weekend, even on the holiday weekend, just take some time to map out what you're going going to do for the week because the holiday is Sunday. Monday we're back to business, so don't don't let Sunday catch you, and you know you, you've had too too much to drink or you've had <laughs> you're full and you can't map out your week. So if you already know Sunday's going to be locked down with some barbecue and then plan next week, do all your planning on Saturday. You know, get it done, but get it done. All right. Um, you're mapping out what you want to do for the week, but if you have not done a quarterly plan yet, I suggest you do it. Just three goals. If you know how to do smart goals, create three smart goals and then create your steps that you need to take over the next three months to get those three things done and use that as your basis for your, your foundation for your, your weekly tasks. All right. Um, one more question. Let's see. Who said this? Facebook user, I'm not sure who said this, but be excited and intentional about your plan. I love my planning time. Thank you, sis. I absolutely agree. I love my planning time because I'm just like, ooh, oh, I can't wait to do this. Oh, I can't wait to show them this. <laughs> I get excited about what I have coming up, right? Um, Kayla asks, what do you recommend doing daily for your business? It depends on what your goals are. And so what I do for my business is going to be completely different what you do for your business, right? But one, you know, you could look at categories. Check your financials. You always should, you should have a definitely have a regular uh, you know check in with your your financial stuff. Um, I actually 
for those who are in tribe, maybe I'll put that, I'm gonna write that note for myself. You know, I put a, in our success Academy, I have a, we have a section that says, um, our monthly business tool. And I haven't posted the July one yet. I was going to do it tonight. So we had a really great business tool that was shared with us, um, by, uh, coach cash, cash, the bookkeeper. And she has a checklist of things that you should do every day for your business. So I'm going to, I'm going to post that for the month. That'll be a great checklist for the month. So that's one thing, Kayla. Um, I always, you know, I kind of check on our social media stuff, see where we are with social media. Um, but I have a social media plan. I have a content calendar. So my content calendar, I'm, I'm just checking that. And I, and I pre, re, re uh, you know, I, I uh, what's it called? Not record, but I schedule. There we go. I schedule my content. So pretty much every day, I just kind of look at my content, what has come out and see who's commented and, you know, reply to questions, things like that. I, I check my email. Um, I have, I block my time. So, uh, you know, part of my day, I know I'm working on my, my goal stuff. Part of my day I'm working on, um, just stuff with, you know, uh, questions I might have from clients and I have a call time, have a, you know, time of day that I block off for calls, time of day for replying to emails. Um, you know, so it, you, it really look at what your, your revenue generating activities are and then build around that. Okay. That was a good question. Um, let's see. That was the last question. So uh, definitely, definitely have a great holiday weekend. Whatever you're working on, whatever your objectives you're working on for this week, go ahead and knock them out tonight so that you can really enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, take some time this weekend, just about an hour at some point to make sure you have your planning done for next week so that you can go into quarter three strong with your first set of, set of objectives. And I will be here next Thursday at 7 p.m. Um, we're starting uh, you know, a, a new series of uh, discussions and things like that for third quarter uh, for all my social media stuff. So we'll have some new, new conversations for next week. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all have a fabulous weekend. Be blessed. Be a blessing and don't forget, no matter what, you still got to do the work. So make sure you are taking care of yourself and taking care of your business. All right. Y'all be blessed. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week.